Welcome to Beside the Broom for Tuesday the 1st of October. As we had an evening service last week, there hasn't been the time to uh, put into preparation for a new podcast material. Uh, So I'm just simply going over the things that we were thinking about on Sunday evening as we gathered around the Lord's table. And it's that theme of being in Christ. And we've been thinking about what it means to be in Christ and what it means to be outside of Christ and in the flesh. And today we want to think about uh, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, where we learn that if we are in Christ, we are a new creation. Paul, whenever he's writing to the Corinthian church, says in 2 Corinthians 5 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. And that really is, I suppose, makes perfect sense. That if your life is going to change from living a life outside of Christ to suddenly becoming in Christ, then everything has to change for that to happen. To be in Christ and to be able to survive in Christ, we need to let the old go and we need to allow Jesus to recreate us so that we can live in him. I was saying that being in Christ is a bit like being in the sea and a fish is able to survive in the sea because it can breathe underwater. It has gills and that allows it to spend its life in the sea. And if we are going to be placed in Christ, we need to adapt to this new environment so that we can live there and so that we can survive there and the only way for that to happen is to be a new creation the old has gone the sin has been taken away we are new creations and we are able then to come into Christ and be with him and we were thinking primarily about that on Sunday in the context of coming to the Lord's table. That whenever we come to the Lord's table, we're celebrating that new creation because our sin has gone, the old has gone, and then the new has come, a new life with Jesus Christ. And as we think about his blood shed and his body broken, that is a new creation that we receive. Also, in regards to that, I was quoting Galatians 2.20 um, and linking that in with uh, the Cafe 2.20 in Port Rush. And there Paul gives his testimony, as it were, a testimony where he talks about what it means for him to be in Christ. And he says, I have been crucified with Christ. And with and in are sort of almost interchangeable here. I've been crucified with Christ. I've been crucified in Christ. And I no longer live. This is Paul telling us what this new creation looks like. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And it's important then that we are in Christ, but also that Christ is in us. And I suppose a hymn that we could have sung on Sunday evening, which we didn't sing, was Abide With Me. We're to be in Christ, abiding, dwelling, remaining in him all of our lives. Paul goes on to say, the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So that's the testimony of someone who is in Christ. And that can be our testimony if we trust in Christ ourselves. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that whenever we are in Christ, we are new creations. The old has gone and the new has come. We pray, Lord, that day by day you would help us to confess the old things so that you can take them away and replace them with the new. Help us day by day to live in Christ in all that we do. Amen.